Yo, Charles. What, Tony? I didn't see you there. What do you mean you didn't see me? I didn't see you. I'm I wasn't right paying here. attention. Why I was setting attention? up some stuff. You want to see what I'm setting up? What are you setting up? Come here. Show me what you're setting up. Okay. What's up? You ever heard of this? Nope. What is that? It says right there, dude. It's the Inca says, Intel, I, Intel I see, Compute Stick. I see what it stick. says it is, but what is that? What does that mean? So the Intel Compute Stick is like this uh, little bitty, uh, like kind of Google uh, Chrome-esque little computer. has a quad-core Atom processor, like two gigs of... Uh, RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, and it's got a micro SD card slot so you can put more in it. And it comes like two little um, USB ports, and it's got like Wi Fi and Bluetooth stuff built in. Oh, that's cool. So, what I'm trying to see is can NX Witness run on this effectively? And, and if so, like what's the performance like, right? Yep. So, I got it hooked up over here, right? So, if you come back around here, you can see I got a little bitty Intel uh, Compute Stick, Compute Stick. Got it hooked up. It's got a USB 3.0 on it, so I got that hooked up to this little 2.5 inch drive. It's like 100 gigs. Then I got keyboard and mouse hooked up, and then that's the power thing for it, right? Okay. And it comes with this nice little HDMI adapter as well, so you can put it on the back of a monitor. I mean, you could nice. plug it straight back in, but. Yeah, just in case it curved out. You know, cool. I was being responsible. Okay, that makes So it costs like 149 bucks. I think we got it for 129 on Amazon. But it's interesting because I think I've gone, I've gone through and I set it up, right? Yep. So I set it up like a normal computer. I installed the next witness on it. I haven't tried really running it yet. So what I'm going to show you right now is if I open up NX witness on it, it looks like everything's good. Now let's, let's test. Here's the compute stick right here. Server's running on it. It's merged to our main demo system, right? Yep. So with no cameras displaying, it's got two cameras recording or streaming through it right now. These two, right? Yeah. So, uh, with nothing going on right now, um, let me get rid of this Torito tunneling thing, the C drive. So we're about, with nothing going on, just the, the client running, right? You can see the CPU is kind of spiky. I mean, it is an Atom processor, but it's got just this thing being displayed right now. Um, RAM is about 60%, and then um, D drive, we're not using right now, so nothing's going on, right? So if I go into it though, let's go set it up, this server. Let's add storage, let's un unclick the C drive and press apply. So now we're not using the internal drive, we're just using that external drive okay. that I put on there, it's 120 gig, um, and then press okay. So now that server's set up just to record that D drive. Nice. So if we pull in a camera here, this is an Acti camera and it's running at eh, 15, 25, 30 frames per second, yeah. 1080p. So it's not doing too bad. CPU eh, still hovering around 50%. Yeah. If I grab another one here, let's say the fish eye. See that? I haven't tried that yet. So it bumps it up a little bit. That one's coming in at 2592. Oh, it just switched to low res. So if I max it out to high res, let's see. What happens to the CPU? So right now it's coming in at 2592 by 1944. Really uh -huh. didn't affect the CPU too uh -huh. much. What about the pull PTZ here? Not much. Again, not much. They're all running 1080p right now. This is kind of incredible actually. That's four HD cameras running at full resolution and full frame rate. Let's see if we pull one more and what happens. So if we pull another one in, that's also 1080p. Where we jumped up to about 60% CPU usage. What about side doors here? Now we're at 65. Wow. I'm actually quite, <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. One, two, three, four, five HD plus videos. Now we just got a spike in CPU up to 81. It dropped off there, it looked like. So let's switch it over to auto again. And let it take care of itself. I'm guessing they're going to bump down here in a second, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe it's still got enough juice. Okay, that one's running at low resolution now. Pull on the kitchen, pull on the intersection. So now we've got six HD cameras rolling, right? I think they're all probably switching over to low res. Yeah, they just all switched over to low res. So that one's low res, that one's low res, that's low res, low res. Oh, that one's still high res. Interesting. Let's force them all to low res and see what happens. 
Force them all to low. Anyway, CPU just generally hovers around 60%, it looks like. You got a few spikes here and there when you when you threw a bunch of stuff in there, but pretty awesome actually that it's uh, this responsive and it's just a little Atom processor, right? So you still all the same functions and everything like that. Uh, can still do the zoom windows on it, right? So still got all the same features and functions that I have. That's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so one of the things that I was thinking about doing though was uh, since this is a server and it's actually recording, which is really cool as well, um, I've got the set of a server recording that little hard drive, but I could also turn this thing into a video wall. So oh, if I go cool. here and I say, I'm gonna attach this thing to the video wall, I got one, one monitor over here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is my new screen. Let's rename that real fast, Compute Stick. Okay, so now if we go compute stick, let's go, let's save it. Oh, we're good. Now let's switch it to video wall mode. Yep. Switch it into video wall mode to go to black screen, right? Yeah. That's what video wall mode does. So now we're on a black screen, and compute stick's running. Go up to the main demo system here. And I should see compute stick, I do. So if I push something to the compute stick now, then I should see that camera come up. It came there you go. What about a layout? Let's see. Let's grab a layout and throw it over there. So let's say admin demo. What's the fisheye one look like? Okay, that one's cool. Let's drag the fisheye one down there. All right, it's a compute stick. Boom, fisheye. Switches over. So now I've got a video wall monitor as well with the compute stick. So without even the hard drive, I could just install a client, turn it into a spot monitor or a client workstation yeah. for like a garden stuff. That's nice. Pretty cool. So $129 device, Atom processor, and you get the full, functionality of the full functionality of the software, no, no light client needed. Pretty impressive. Shows you how lightweight our stuff is and how, how well it works, but also how powerful computing is getting these days and how cheap. So the idea that you need one of these kind of like really cheap kind of embedded in VRs, I don't think that's really valid. If you use like a, a little bit higher end CPU yeah. and build your own box, now you can have a full featured kind of NX witness system with no limitations on what you do, yeah. including failover, including one click upgrades, all that stuff. It's already built in, it's full function. So there you go, folks. Intel Compute Stick. Uh, this, this is the generation two of it. Get it on Amazon for like $129 or $149. Give it a try. Tell us what you think. Cool. Bye, Charles. See you.